Hey, what's up YouTube? Pastor Matt here. Quick book recommendation. Uh, this is called Gerhardus Voss, Reformed Biblical Theologian and Confessional Presbyterian by Danny E. Olinger, Olinger, forward by Camden Busey. Um, I got this book for free for review from my friend Mark Van Drunen, who is on the board of the Reformed Forum, the publisher of this book. And uh, before I talk about the book's contents, I did just want to mention that this is the first time that Reformed Forum has published um, a volume, a book. Uh, they are known as a podcasting ministry, YouTube ministry. Um, I listen to them on Google Podcasts regularly. I've been very, very much helped with some of their stuff. Super nerdy, geeky, reformed confessional theology stuff. All of it's excellent. You can see here I damaged the book because I read it cover to cover already. Um, but as far as a book... Uh, let me just say, this is an excellent book. This is a hardback book. This is, has a sewn binding to it, so it's going to last forever. It's not going to fall apart like uh, glued paperback junk. This is a book that's meant to, to last. It's built to grind. Um, let me tell you a little bit about it. If you have no idea who Gerhardus Voss is, you might want to check back on my YouTube page several reviews back. I did volumes one and two of his Reformed Dogmatics. He is a longtime professor of Princeton Theological Seminary and one of the greats in the same era as Benjamin Warfield, J. Gresham Machen, Cornelius Van Til, uh, Abraham Kuyper. All of those guys were his colleagues and contemporaries, and he was in friendship, fraternal relationship with all of those guys. So let me tell you a little bit about what's in this book. This is both a biography and a theology. We might even call it a theological biography. And while it does primarily trace the life of Gerhardus Voss from his early Dutch roots to his family's immigration to America, his theological education, um, his early professorships at the Theological School of Grand Rapids, followed by his tenure at Princeton Theological Seminary, um, it does also get quite a bit into his theology and his works and writings. And so if you're not familiar, Gerhardus Voss is considered to be the father of biblical theology. Now, what in the world does that mean? Well, if you think of theology as coming under different headings, for instance, systematic theology is when you take any one topic and look at all of Scripture, what it says on that thing, such as the Trinity or angels or heaven, uh, systematic theology would be a very logically organized way to do theology. Practical theology would be uh, pastoral ministry, how to care for people, how to administer the Lord's Supper, um, the office of the pastor, the deacon, the elder. Um, then there's historical theology where we study the great theologians of history, Martin Luther, John Calvin, all those guys. Well, biblical theology is, um, in concert with its name, one of the most biblical ways to do theology, it basically studies the whole of Scripture from the process of revelation itself. So, biblical theology, as opposed to systematic theology, works through the great, great doctrines of the faith from uh, creation to consummation, we might say, beginning with the idea of the covenants, uh, looking at creation, looking at the Abrahamic covenant, how God reveals himself, in the Mosaic Covenant is in terms of a process of special uh, revelation as God reveals himself through time and history, particularly in the Word of God, and then culminating in the life, death, and resurrection of Christ with a great dose of hopeful amillennial eschatology thrown in there. All right, so you're going to learn all of that if you read this biography. You're also going to learn about the uh, some of the early... Um, early Calvinists from the, the late 19th century, early 20th century. You're going to learn a lot about Princeton Theological Seminary. You're going to learn a lot about his Voss's relationships to Machen, Warfield, Van Til, and others. And you're going to see um, a very humble life, a very humble saint who lived for the glory of Christ, famed for his exegesis of scripture, famed for his love, high view of the word of God, um, a stalwart of the faith, a defender of the Westminster Confession of Faith against liberalism and modernism, uh, again, alongside Warfield and, and Machen and those other guys. Gerhardus Voss is one of the least known in that pack of gifted, reformed men 
but his work is almost even recently being rediscovered. As I mentioned in the review of his Reform Dogmatics, uh, that book was only recently translated. But he has many other important works, uh, including work, his main work, Biblical Theology. Um, he has other works on the life of Christ. He has some stuff on eschatology, some sermons, and some, some of his poems. And you're going to learn all about that in this excellent, excellent biography, again, by Danny Olinger, Olinger who is uh, an OPC Presbyterian pastor himself, a historian, an excellent writer in his, in his own right. And I think this book was excellent. I learned a ton. I feel the better for having read it, and I'm thankful to Reformed Forum for publishing this volume. Hopeful for future volumes by Camden Busey and the rest of the guys at Reformed Forum. So what I'm going to do for you, as always, I'm going to post the link to this particular book in the description of this video. Hopefully you will go down to Amazon.com or other good places where it can be bought, and you will get a copy for yourself. All right, thanks for checking in. Love you lots, and we'll talk to you later.